Welcome Sagittarius to your weekly love tower readings. For those of you new to this channel, welcome guys. For those of you returning, welcome back and thank you for your continued support. So the readings here that I'm doing today are general tarot spreads and it may not necessarily resonate with everyone who's watching this. In that case, please just take what resonates with you and leave aside what doesn't. For those of you that would like a personal reading with me, please feel free to email me. My email address is listed at the bottom of the video here in, um, in the description box below, along with the different types of readings that I'm offering. And you may find that those readings resonate with you um, a lot more closely as they are personal and they will directly relate to you in your situation. So the reading that I'm doing here today is intended for Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Let's take a look at the messages in your spread this week. So to begin, you've got the Eight of Wands, the Star card, and the Nine of Swords here. Okay, Wands is ruled by the element of fire, which governs the signs of Sagittarius, Aries, and the Leo. So this is your energy here, Sag. Okay. The Eight of Wands is actually only a few of the minor arcana cards that doesn't seem to have people in it. Okay, well, in the right, uh, right away deck, anyhow. Um... The Eight of Wands here for you indicates that this week you're going to be seeing a rather very quick turn of events, especially in matters of the heart here. This is, unex this is communication coming through, but I feel like it's unexpected communication. Um, there is someone here who is going to be reaching out to you, who is going to be making contact with you. Um, this feels really, it feels out of the blue for me. It feels really out of the blue. It feels very unexpected. It's someone whom you've either had a, like a relationship or a special connection with in the past, okay? It might have even been a fling that you flung far away, but I feel like this person still has... They either still have feelings for you, like lingering feelings, which they haven't seemed to let go of, um, or they, they feel like there's something there. They're, they're very much still drawn to you, he Sagittarius, and it's very likely that you will be hearing from this person this week. Now, the star card, he indicates to me that uh, this person has been doing a lot of reflecting, especially given, you know, the... This set of circumstances that the world is facing, this um, isolation or the self-distancing that everyone is practicing, it's given a lot of people time to think. And I feel like this person has been doing a lot of reflecting here. Okay, They've been thinking about their past, they've been thinking about their actions, and more importantly, they've been thinking about you. To me, I'm picking up uh, that there's some regrets here with the Nine of Swords. Now, they either regret... There's a lot of regrets here being harbored. They either regret the way things turned out or perhaps didn't turn out. They regret saying something or not saying something. They regret the way they acted or the way they treated you. Um, there's a lot of regrets here. I'm also picking up that they've been, especially with the Nine of Swords here, they've been thinking. They've been thinking about you a lot. Uh, in fact, they're probably being overthinking here. Okay, but let's just go back to the star card here. So the star card here shows up in our reading when um, when we are wanting to forgive ourselves for our past hurt or our past mistakes. I feel like this is the uh, the emotional experience that the person is going through right now. Okay, they're they're wanting. They're slowly coming to terms with what they've done. So this person could have even ghosted you or it may have been a connection that didn't work out for whatever reason or perhaps this you were in a relationship with this person and maybe your needs and your wants weren't met and weren't satisfied. Maybe it was a little bit one-sided. Whatever it was, this person holds regret. They're, I'm thinking that they are ashamed. They're ashamed by the way they acted. I also feel like, you know, given the amount of thinking that they've been doing and given the amount of thought that um, and mental energy that they've been putting into this lately, they feel very humbled by it. Now, a part of their reason uh, to reach, uh, as to why they want to reach out to you, I feel like it's, 
it's more than just wanting to reconnect with you. I feel like they truly want to apologize here. They genuinely want to seek your forgiveness here. Okay? They genuinely want you to know that they're that they're sorry for the way they've acted or the way they've treated you. Perhaps also it's because karma has for some I feel like somehow there's a lesson a lesson here that they've learned, okay? And perhaps for some of them, karma has turned come back around, and you know, the way they perhaps the way they've treated you in the past is the way that someone has treated them recently. And as a result of this, they were able to see how they were able to see how poorly they treated you, and they were able to see the hurt that they've instilled in you because they too had an instilled in them. And I feel like you know, here they are, they've come to a realization, uh, an awakening, and as a result, they're definitely going to want to make contact with you. It's more than just them wanting your forgiveness, though. I feel like it stems a little bit more than that, uh, beyond that. They want to, they want to apologize, they want to, they want to seek your forgiveness, but um, they also want to rekindle a connection here. It's like they want to re-establish the connection, rekindle, perhaps even reconcile the ties here, okay? Um, I feel like this person is in a better position, is in a better place here. I feel like they're slowly coming to a self-acceptance type of love, and as a result, they're going to be, they're going to be better lovers as a result of this, okay? I also feel like with the star card, being here uh, positioned in the center of your spread. This to me indicates that, uh, Sagittarius, a lot of you have maybe even forgiven this person in the past, okay? Whether or not you have expressed that to them, but I feel, um, you know, as the old saying goes, time heals on all wounds, and I feel like this is very true here. I feel like a lot of you have forgiven this person, um, whether or not you've expressed it to them. And I feel like when this person now will reach out to you, I just feel like either enough time or enough life experience has happened to the both of you where for a lot of you, there is a potential or a possibility to rekindle the ties here, rekindle the connection here. And um, as I mentioned earlier, I feel like not only is this person, but I feel like you're self Sagittarius as well. You're in a better state okay i feel like you're both in a better um not only a better mental place mental headspace but i also feel like you're in a better place emotionally and spiritually here okay so this is going to be this is what i mean when i say a quick turn of events um you'll find that and not necessarily that this person is going to come, uh, you know, they're going to be full on or they're going to be like fast charging at you. Rather, I feel like this will, all of this will just happen to land in your lap, really. With the Nine of Swords, this is air energy. This is Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. So it could be the energy of the person that we're currently discussing here. It may be that they have elements within their natal chart here. Uh, this to me just indicates the mental woe that they've been experiencing. I feel like they've been doing a lot of thinking, a lot of self-reflecting. They've had, I feel like in many ways it's been haunting them, okay? The regrets, the words not said, the love not expressed, the way they've treated you or mistreated you, the way they've communicated or miscommunicated. There's been a lot of that uh, going on in their mind. And it's like they've been analyzing and even over-analyzing things here, Sagittarius, um, a lot of sleepless or restless nights. It could also be your energy here, Sagittarius, if if you do have air within your natal chart. Um, it could be that this is the effect that this person might have had on you. Maybe now you're at a place where you've healed and you moved on emotionally. Maybe this is a past energy here that is being channeled. Maybe, you know, this person has inflicted a lot of pain and emotional um hurt onto you that you've spent many restless and sleepless nights uh, just wondering about them, okay? But I also feel like, you know, this person is, they are going to communicate with you, but um, I feel like there's a lot of nervous energy tied into their communication. I feel like they're either, they're preempting the worst. So I'm not sure if they're a little bit more on the pessimistic side of things here, but I feel like this person is preempting the worst. 
So just to give an example, this person may be preempting that if they do reach out to you, they feel like you may not necessarily reach out back to them. Or if they reach out to you and try to uh, make amends and rekindle ties, they feel like you may reject them and shut them down. So in their head, they're, they're already playing out the worst case scenario, um, which I feel like is being a little bit tad too dramatic. Um, but again, I just feel like they may be leaning into being a little bit more pessimistic rather than optimistic here. But Sagittarius, you will hear from this person. It will be unexpectedly and it will be out of the blue. Uh, but just rest assured that this isn't what may seem unexpected or what, what may seem as though it's just out of the blue for you really um, has meant... For this other person has meant that they've been doing a lot of thinking, that they've thought about this moment and this and them wanting to reach out and connect to you for quite some time. And yes, if you are wondering, the energies can be reversed here, Sagittarius. Perhaps you are the one that's wanting to reach out. Perhaps you are the one that has been, um, you know, has been doing a lot of emotional and a lot of self-healing. And now you're at a stage where you're ready to reach out and seek for someone's forgiveness. Okay, so the energies can be interchangeable here. Okay, guys, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And please don't forget to share, like, dislike, or comment below. For those of you that do want that reading with me, feel free to connect. Otherwise, take care, everybody, and I will catch up with you next week.